Hi everybody, this is Pam Coey and I am in a different corner of my studio and if it looks different it's because it's in this area that I focus on encaustic. Uh, camera can't show you everything but I've got some um, pallets and uh, like pancake griddles and you know heated frying pans. It's a very different process than the other types of painting that I've shown on my channel and uh, going forward uh, well number one I'm getting ready for a show at Radius Gallery so thumbs up to Radius Gallery. Thank you for having me and representing me. Um, it's, it's just a superb gallery. They've got a holiday show going on right now. If you get a chance go over to Radius gallery.com and you'll be able to see their holiday show it's kind of coming to a close now but in january on the i think it's the 20th or 22nd uh, i will be having a part of a group show there so the work that i'm going to be presenting in that exhibition is going to be encaustic it's another one of my my loves and uh just due to the the setup and it's a little bit more involved. So that's why I haven't really shown much of this on my um, YouTube channel, but uh, I'm gonna be working, I'm working toward the show. I feel pretty ready, but on the other hand, I wanna keep, you know, keep creating work so that the reason to have like too much then what is needed is because then I can curate, you know, what's the best cohesive voice. And I've got a lot of new work that I'm excited about. Uh, it feels good to be back in this corner. Basically, I just wanted to do a YouTube Live because um, what that does is it kind of rewards my subscribers. Like a lot of you, well, if you're on here right now, you're probably a subscriber, so thank you. And if you're not a subscriber, that's why you didn't get a notification that I'm going live. And so this is kind of my um, thank you to those of you who are subscribed. And the way to do that is to click on subscribe. It's that little red button and then click the notification bell and then you get an email from YouTube, not me, and they say, hey, you know, Pam has just gone live. So I hope to do a lot more of this. Um, what happens is like if I do a two hour live right now, I will uh, upload a shorter version to YouTube in a few days. And then the long version, the complete version goes into my library, which you can subscribe to for $9 a month. It's a great deal, 30 cents a day. And it's my way of kind of rewarding those of you who try to support me with, you know, 30 cents a day. I, I really appreciate it. So for those of you who are in my library, thank you so much. It allows me to keep going and create new work and, you know, um, trying to be experimental and share as much as I possibly can. A lot of people ask me, well, where do you get your energy? How do you do so much? And I will say that it does take a lot of organization. It takes a lot of mental focus and in time over the last 30 years, I've had time to, get better and better at this. But I have to say that um, it's probably about 10 years ago that our sons developed this awesome product. And I've mentioned it on my YouTube channel before. And I want to thank all of you who have tried out Vogue Tab. It's now called Vogue Superfood. So I happen to have my Vogue Tab right here. And I have to tell you that I, I think this is kind of partly the secret behind what I do. It's I should probably tell you this more often because it's not really fair not to tell you. Um, it's not like I just show up and everything just falls into place. This is kind of my um, my energy right here. It's in a little packet. There are two tabs in here. Some days I'll take four of these, so two packets. But like today, I'll take my two. And when I disappear behind this table, you'll be able to see what I'm doing, but you won't see my face just because you know the camera can't get everything. And I think you'd probably rather see what I'm doing rather than my face. So um, basically, I've got two frying pans. They're heated frying pans that are heating up. And one has just encaustic medium. So here's, I don't know if I can actually reach this far. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So you can see the little, they're like cupcakes shapes of encaustic medium, which I've made from scratch. And I will be launching an encaustic course at some point showing you like how do you make encaustic medium and how do you get started and like my favorite techniques and it's one of my it is one of my favorite mediums so I kind of feel like I want to offer that. And then over there I've got a um, pancake griddle that has like uh, leftover pet tins of colors. Um, I don't know how much color I'll be using today but this is the main painting that I'm working on today. It's one I actually started a while ago and it's kind of a grid. So my sh upcoming this group show here, I'm gonna be focusing on kind of grids 
circles and stripes, which are kind of my favorite things. And I'm trying to make variations on a theme. So with color, with texture, um, direction, you know. So that's what I'm doing. And again, I might take a peek at the chat every now and then, but for the most part, I'm I'm working. So you're just kind of looking over my shoulder. Here's my book tabs. I'm gonna tear open the top and grab some of my tabs. Um, they're kind of like a little sour and they're like sweet tarts. There they are. And I'm gonna suck on this one for a while. So if I talk and I sound funny, that's why. Thanks for joining me, by the way. These are still melting and I've got this very wide hockey brush and I kind of just let it sit here in the pan so that the bristles can warm up and they're melting and I have a infrared thermometer. Um, this is my indigo wax right here. You can see I dipped it in probably some white or whatever that was. And, you know, sometimes I'll, I'll wrap the label around this with a rubber band so I don't forget that this is indigo. This is a semi-transparent and I want it to be super transparent. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. The brush is now nice and pliable. And notice how wide it is. It's like an eight inch brush, I think. And I can heat the surface of this first. Oops, why is it moving like that? So I've got the tapes, the tape, the sides taped, and the back has the plastic. So it kind of keeps everything clean. And then I want to also show that these are scrapings from, I saved them. So when I scraped the encaustic, I saved the scraps. And then here's another one that has saved scraps. Okay, so I'm just gonna heat up the surface. I'm just going to eat up, heat up part of it at a time because this is my, I'm going to start at this end. So here's the nice warmed up wax and just go kind of fast, but I can go faster because I heated that up first. If it were like hot wax on a cold surface like this is, my studio is really cold and I have to turn the heat off so that you can hear me. So the surface is actually quite warm. I mean, it's warm here, but cool here. So I'm going to heat it up and then... one layer so you don't want to keep layering and layering until you fuse it all in there so now I've got one coat of encaustic medium and you can kind of see that I mean everything is still visible because one coat of encaustic medium is fairly transparent and there's so many things you can do with this medium and that's why I love it so much and it's very much like in, in sort of a way with cold wax medium that it's all about texture and so let me see here. I'm gonna heat this in. So now that there's one coat of wax, I can heat all this in. This is the actual fusing part. Um, before I wasn't fusing, I was just heat it, warming the surface. Now I'm gonna fuse it.
Okay, so that is one layer. Now I decide whether I want to put a second layer or whether I want to move into color. Color is going to really change this too. Well, I think what I'm going to do, I was going to use the phthalo, which was from the leftover brush that I didn't clean up. Um, but I have another painting that's very phthalo and I kind of want some variety in the show. So I'm going to take this, um, this frying pan and just put my indigo into this one and change my mind, which I often do. Now this one had, you know, all clean encaustic medium and a clean brush. So um, this one is not going to be that phthalo blue stain. At first I thought, you know, why not? But on the other hand, I've got a really phthalo blue painting. You can see it on my Instagram channel if you happen to go there and it's, it's very intense and, you know, it can be a little overpowering in an exhibition if you have too much of that color. So that's why after a little bit more thought, I'm going to change my mind. So again, this live video will be available for just a few days. Then it's going to come down and come off my channel and then I'll upload like a shorter version. And for those of you in my library, you'll see the entire um, thing. Like I'll probably be working on this for several hours. That's all going to go into my library. Um, that's my way of saying thank you to those of you who subscribe to my library. I really appreciate it. And um, in my library, I have like, I work in, in a lot of different mediums, but I talk a lot about color and design. So if you're not in my, my big class, you know, it gives you an opportunity to kind of hear me talking about color and design as I work on paintings in my studio in four different mediums. Um, okay, so that's getting better. I'm gonna keep this kind of subtle and I can always add more of the indigo if I want, but this is still warm from before, but I guess I should heat it just a little bit. Start this end. layer of transparent indigo. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so you can kind of see a little bit, right? It's You can see where this band is, and that's about the right amount that I wanted to start out with, so it's about right. And if you can all hear me okay, if you could let me know, because I've got a I've got a um a microphone. I want to make sure you can all hear me clearly. So in the chat, if you could let me know if you can hear okay, I'd really appreciate that. I've got my um I don't have my ventilation turned on just because I'm recording, but normally I would. It's very important to have good ventilation. So go on this end. Thermometer, which I meant to show you. It's really awesome. That's probably what they're using right now for COVID tests on foreheads, but I, I, I'm not brave enough to like do this to myself because it's a laser beam. So you just like point it to your mixture right now. It says 205, which is pretty good. I could turn the heat down a bit. Um, so what you're trying to prevent with encaustic is smoking. It's, it's when you overheat it, like you, If you overheat your encaustic, um, let's say it was at 250 or something, you're gonna start seeing like billowing um, smoke. And it's it's when you do that, you go too hot that you're endangering your health. As long as you don't see smoking, you're pretty much okay. Not that you shouldn't have ventilation, you should. But um, over the long haul, you definitely um, want to make, like keep an eye on your temperature. And that's why I keep this handy at all times because these electric frying pans, and griddles, they're very uneven with their temperature. You can't really uh, depend on the dials to be accurate. They could be way off. And so you need to have this to, to double check the temperature. Okay. So I've got these two done. I just have to do this one. Let me heat this up. OK, 
Okay, now I gotta fuse it in. So there's um, one layer. I'm not really sure how dark I want to go with this, but with every uh, successive layer, it's going to go a little bit more, you know, a little darker and a little bit more opaque because that's the nature of the wax. I'm going to do all three of these guys right after I fused it because it's still warm. Yeah, that's looking kind of interesting. I've got this razor blade, very sharp, so I have to be careful. And then I've got a, um, it's a wallpaper scraper. And not too long ago, I did replace the blade. And I can see it's got like phthalo blue on it from this other big painting I was working on. But um, so if it's a like a big job, big painting, I will tend to use the wallpaper scraper. If it's a smaller job, I'll just use a smaller blade. I'm just gonna get that excess phthalo off the wallpaper scraper. I guess I'll just start off with this blade. And it's just a matter of light touch. And then, you know, like you get the wax, even it's cooler now, I can peel off that extra and throw it into one of these containers where I collect my leftover stuff. But you have to be like, if, if you keep doing this and you don't ever peel off the, the um, accumulating wax, it gets all gummed up and then it's like hard to get it off. So it's a matter of like a few scrapes check your blade, take that off, put it in the container and then start over again. So you have to keep doing that. And then you wanna keep changing your direction. If you like it really smooth, that's how you get a smooth surface. Um, if I keep going in one direction and I don't move it around, then you're just moving it in one place. So that's what I'll be doing. Okay, everyone. Well, I think I'm going to um, shut the camera off and thank you all for joining me. It's been great. Um, hope you're doing well and staying safe. And just to let you know, I hope to do more of these live sessions because, um, again, it's easier for me to just like turn on the camera and it's live and there's no video editing. So you get to see all my mistakes and, and all that kind of stuff. It's probably more, more um, entertaining for you. Um, but just know that these live videos are only available for a few days on YouTube and then they come down. And then a shorter version goes up and the full version with several hours of what I do go into my library. That's the Watch, Learn, Grow library. Now it has over 80 hours of my video tutorials and demos and watching over my shoulder painting. Um, and the link is in the description below this video. So please um, subscribe so that you get a notification of the next time I go live. You'll get a notification from YouTube as long as you click subscribe and the notification bell. Okay, so that's below um, the video. So thank you all, happy holidays, and I hope you have a great rest of the week. Bye now.